Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add and remove staff members to your Go High Level account. And so if we click at the bottom here on settings, and then we go to staff just here in the left menu, and you'll see your list of staff. Now, if you've got a whole list of staff, you can search here. You can also select the staff member by user role and it'll filter it. But to add a new staff member, you click add employee and then you just go through and add the staff member's name. So you gotta add the first name, last name, obviously email. You need to add a phone number for them, that's required. And then you have to add your own password. It's a bit strange, but you've got to actually add a password here and you've got to make one up, which I think is a little strange, but you need to do it. And hopefully that'll change later where it will generate a password for you. You've got to add one in, otherwise when you click save, it will, it will say, look, there's an error. Just like it's saying there's an error here. Um, don't bother choosing a calendar at this point because you're just creating the staff member. When you, um, when you uh, have a calendar, you can come back and add that calendar in. Again, when you're adding a new staff member, you don't have to configure this. The, the user can configure that later. But what you do have to do is add permissions. And so one of the big things uh, that you need to be aware of is this only um, assigned data. So if you have a sales rep or someone in the business that you don't want them to see other people's sales data, you need to enable that. It's very important that you enable that. Um, otherwise, if this is turned off, they'll be able to see everything, all the data. So that's the most important um, uh, uh, feature here that you need to know whether you enable or disable and then all of the rest of this is just things that you may not want them to see to confuse them so just say they're a sales rep I would leave on the dashboard stats stats they don't need to see uh, campaigns that's an internal thing uh, triggers um, they don't need to see you know opportunities they want to see they're a salesperson contacts online listings they don't need to see communities lead value they want to see Website, Facebook ads reporting, all of this, social media ads, blogging, payments they may want to be a part of because they're actually making payments and invoicing. So you leave that on and then payment refunds, leave all of that on. Appointments they want to see, bulk requests, that's doing things in bulk, you may want to turn that off for them. Funnels, turn off, conversation you want to leave on because this is all the messaging for them. Our reviews you may want to turn on so they can see the reviews coming in or you could turn it off. Membership site. Uh, you may want to just turn all the settings off, and so they can only see the settings that they have to they have to see like integrations. But everything else, like here in the settings, they won't see. So you want to do that. Just keep it clean for them. Tags you want them to be involved in because they want to tag contacts. Marketing you want to turn off. Ads, call reporting you want to see that. Um, agent reporting you want them to see that. Uh, and then workflows probably turn off. Uh, record payments and cancel subscriptions. You can decide. Okay, so it's very important you get the right settings and then if they're a salesperson, I would turn that on so they can only see the data that's important to them. And then when it comes to user roles, if they are an admin person who's going to add users and do a lot of this building out, make them admin. If they're not, if they're just a user of the system, an end user, make them a user. Uh, call voice settings, you can get them to generate this later. You don't have to set it up now. User availability, they will set up later in their profile. You can adjust the time zone if you like. Uh, and then the calendar configuration, they'll set up later in their profile. And when you're all done, you can click save. It's not letting me click save because I haven't filled in the data here, okay? But when I do have it filled in, it'll work. Now, now when you have a new employee, at any point you can you know go through and delete them. Um, it won't let me delete them because there's only one. Uh, you can remove them from this location if you have multiple locations and then you can click edit and then you can edit that user uh, again and then cancel if you don't want to uh, work with them. Now there is a concept of teams and so this has to do with calendars. Um, you can see it's moved so just ignore it and we'll deal with it in the calendar section.